Can the device in this box that just came replace my Kindle Scribe for reading, my paper device for note taking, and news about paper, it's not good by the way, and my Remarkable 2, which I use for my planner. Can this device replace everything? Well, let's get into it and find out. This is actually uh, the Onyx Books Tab X. And I purchased this. Um, I did not get sent this for a review. Uh, Onyx does not send me devices for review. Onyx, if you want me to review devices, be great if you send them to me. Uh, that would be kind of cool. But I get these actually, um, I actually purchased this. It's expensive. To be honest with you, after shipping and everything, you know, it's about a $900 device. So it's not cheap. Man, they, they wrapped this sucker good because it came from China, I believe. Or their U.S. warehouse. I think they got a U.S. warehouse now. Let's see if I can get into this thing. It is wrapped solid. Let's see. Get in here. Here we go. Okay, we got that side open, I think. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's see what we got in the box that they ship with you. So here comes the books devices. And what do we got? We got another, anything else in there? That is it. So we have, I believe these are probably marker nibs. We have the cover. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. And then we have the actual books tab X. Now I have been really critical of books devices because I typically are am more of an Apple guy, which is keep things simple and easy to use. And so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, if this works out uh, the way that I think it is. So let's get into it and check it out. So here we are, the books. Let's get into this and see if it's going to disappoint me. Uh, I was watching Voya's uh, My Deep Guide and I, it really interested me and that's why I ended up buying it because I was like, wow, maybe this can replace these other devices uh, and I can use it um, in, this, in that manner. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we've got. Oh, I said books, I, I didn't like their styluses and stuff, and I didn't like the operating system. On my website, I got a quiz you can take. Typically, a books device is a very left brain. Uh, you know, one, it, it takes time to set it up. It, it, just, it just didn't fit into my workflow. Um, any of the devices, a Note Air, any of them. But this one could be, because I like a bigger device, uh, I like the paper size, and I always like the Onyx Max Lumi. Uh, so I did purchase this device, as I mentioned. Books, you can send me devices. Uh, email down below. Okay, so here we are, first take. Hefty, but not too heavy. Uh, feels pretty good. Um, I kind of like it. it is, it's not too bad. I want to see what it's like in the case. Uh, it's definitely the right size for me. Uh, I kind of like the book's logo on the side here, kind of like it's meant to be used in landscape mode. Pretty cool looking uh, device here. Uh, so what else do we got in the box? We have uh, manuals, I would assume. And then in here we have... What do we got in here? Let's take it out. We have, oh, a stylus. Now this is gonna be the key thing for me. I know we can use um, our other styluses on this device, so that's cool, uh, but I really wanna see if they've improved their styluses. I haven't, I haven't had a device from books in a while. Uh, and again, like I said, it always felt kind of cheap, but um, get out of there. They got a, a nice, kind of a nice feature here where you got a cover on it. Uh, none of these other styluses have a cover. So we have that, okay. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool, and it's kind of a soft, rubbery cover. Does it stick by chance? We'll see. It probably fits in the case, and it's got an eraser on it, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, feels adequate, better, better than the cheapy stuff that I've had before. Uh, writing feels okay, a little smooth. Uh, we're going to give it a test in a minute. What else do we got? Uh, we got a cable, USB-C. I've got a million of those. Uh, uh, marker nibs that we can add to our nibs collection. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's get out the case, which I think is really critical uh, to see how it feels uh, with this device. Uh, this is really important. You can see it's already, look at that, it was sticking to the case. That's pretty cool. Um, let's get in here and see what we've got. Okay, we've got, see how the case feels. Now you can always buy cases, but let's see if they've upped their case game a little bit. All right, here we go. First field books. Can you replace these three devices? I'm anxious to see if you can convert me uh, to a books user. All right, so let me see. Here we go. Feels okay. Let's put it in. I think I just put it in this way, right? Um, what is this? What is that? What does that say? Recyclable. Uh, micro pack. I don't know what that is. We're going to go ahead and put this in. Let's put the power button in first. 
so I don't break it. I'm known to break these things. That's why I like easy, simple devices to use because I am a breaker. I'm not very patient and I don't have a lot of time to mess around. So it's like, let's just get it in there and go. Okay, so that goes there. Okay, pretty standard loop stylus. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here and we are in. Okay, there is two little dots here. So I, I have not read the manuals or done much on this except watch Voya's video a little bit on it. But not bad there, okay? So let's just do, you know, comparison, Remarkable 2. So the Remarkable 2, I do love my planner. And you get my planner for free over at morningcoach.com. Um, you know, I just like the feel of it. I'm a Remarkable 2 guy. It just it just works for me. It always has worked. A um, little bit bigger. And that's traditionally what, like, what I like in a notepad. Um, obviously, it's smaller, but it, this isn't too bulky or crazy, okay? So Remarkable 2 is there. Paper. Now, this is what I'm really looking to replace. Obviously, the paper is the old Sony DPT technology. Um, we've got some news. Uh, it's not looking too healthy for paper. They're trying to make some things work, but it doesn't sound like things are going to work out with that company. Always liked the device. Was waiting for Paper 2. Their software is amazing, uh, and they've just a great company, but it, it's not looking too good, um, by the way. So obviously, this is a comparison. I always like the feeling of this. Um, I got this case off of, off of uh, eBay back in the day, and it's comparable, a little bit thicker, I would say, but not too bad, okay? And then the Kindle Scribe, which is a new player in the game for reading eBooks, kind of nice to take with you and carry with you. Uh, you can kind of see the size. Obviously, it's more of the remarkable size. But again, I'm um, looking for one device just to throw in. And again, secret, I always say the iPad if you're looking for one device. But this could be the device if you're willing to shell out the money that costs the same as these devices. You can't even get this one right now, um, basically. But let's get into it. I'm going to start it up for the first time, take you right with me and see. This is what always bothered me about books was the setup process. But from what I'm understanding is that this is actually a uh, a little bit better. We're going to see here in a minute that it's uh, the system, the software is getting dialed in a little bit. OK, I'm trying to power on. I might need to charge it. Let me see. Is it powering on? Power on. Okay, let me see. Do I need to charge it? I probably might need to charge it. It is not powering on. So we might need to charge it. And again, you know my reviews are not edited much. So I'm going to take it out of the case and just see maybe it's the case that's doing it. Okay, I am not powering on. Okay, it could be me. Hold on, let's get it out of the case, which is always a fun thing. So I'm taking it out of the case. Let's see. Okay, here, here we go. That's a button, right? So power on. Okay, nothing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it went. It finally went. It took a minute um, to get going. So let's put it back in the case. That happens sometimes with these devices. That's why I said I always liked like the Remarkable 2. I'm a big fan because it just works. I like the paper as a Sony device. It just works. And I always just had a little trouble with the books devices. A lot of people like them, right? And I've always just, it just hasn't, they haven't been that intuitive for me. It just seems like the setup is, it, it takes for a while. Uh, and it's just a little challenging, but this device might get me. Okay, so let's go ahead uh, and go through setup here real quick um, and see how easy this is. Hello, uh, user agreement. I have read the agreements. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Auto sleep after five minutes, interactivity shut down. That's good. We'll leave that at no. System navigation should be pretty standard. Back over here, uh, right edge of the screen. Multitask switcher, okay, that comes up from the bottom, back to home screen, on the middle of the bottom, and E center to the right. Okay, cool. Okay. We use gestures. Okay, we're setting up. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is what I was excited about, is that it's actually a lot simpler to use, um, and, and everything is kind of here, and, it, and it's, it's just a better layout, and I, I, I like that so far, okay? So... I'm just going to go ahead and add a notepad just to do a quick note on it and give you a first take here and get a feel from it. Uh, this is my first take. Okay, pretty, pretty impressive. I have to be honest with you. Writes pretty smooth. Um, I like it. I, I actually like this. Um, maybe they're going to win me over here. Let's see. Does the eraser work? 
Okay. I don't. Oh, does you got to take the cap off? Hold on. Let's see what's underneath here. Or is this nibs? I have not done this yet, guys. I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm doing. I might break it. Oh, what? Oh, what's back here? Oh, that's a pin. I don't know what that is. It looks like a pin. Wow. Oh, okay. I have to do some research. I don't know what that is. Uh-oh. I don't know how to get it back in. I think I broke it. It looks like a little pin. What is that? Like a ninja thing. Wow, that's crazy. So I got to figure out what that is in the stylus. I don't remember that in reading My Deep Guy or watching Voya on that. Okay, so there's something in there that's pretty cool. Okay, but I'm not getting the... Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, you got to push it down. You got to push it down a little bit. Okay. Okay. So like I said, you know, I'm not a manual guy. You know, I love Voya. He's amazing because I watch him and he does all the MyD. I just want to get something that works and plug it in and use it, right? And that's what's cool. This is actually, I think they're, they're getting me here. Okay, so if I push this up, it takes me to recent items. If I push this up, it takes me to the main login. If I push this up, it takes me, oh, that is, books, you are doing it. You are doing it. Make it easy for me. I don't want to think. Make it intuitive. This is great. Let me look at the light backlight on this thing. Okay, that's cool. We got high D. This is this is actually really good. Balanced is speed and, and viewing and ultra fast. This thing just flies, right? So we're going to put in HD. This is refresh mode. That's kind of cool. And then let's go back to the center. This is great. Hey, I am impressed, books. I am impressed. This is something uh, that actually can work. Let me hit Play Store and just see because I... I think I'm understanding that this, and I got to figure out what that ninja thing is in there. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. Let's see. Okay, app optimization, uh, HD good display is suitable for text reading, bounce heavy ghosting, fast heavy. D oh, that that's cool. So you got some really cool stuff uh, as far as app optimization, um, DPI setting, uh, text image small. Okay, that's to to get your image sizes, and this is your optimal uh, app optimization coloring. Um, and then we have some more settings here. So this is actually intuitive. Like the software is much more intuitive than I've ever seen it before. Already hooked into Google Play. So I just got to sign in, uh, which I'm going to do in a minute. Um, auto update Google Play apps. That's kind of cool. Let's go back. See, the way this is working to me is night and day uh, for me. I, I, I love this. This is really working. I'm not hooked up to the internet right now. Uh, but look, we went to Google right away. That's cool. Uh, it's fast. It's quick. Um, this may replace this, you know, I don't know. I got to read on it. I do like the Kindle scribe for reading. Uh, I love the remarkable two for notes. I do want the color to change a little bit and look at how easy this is. I'm just going over here and the light color filter is this way and I can come this way. I like a little bit more of a blue color, um, personally in the backlight. So I think, and let's see over here. Let's, oh, look at, it is working. Like, this is awesome. Uh, you know I have the free write for typing, and this could be a screen for that. Look, you got a screenshot, do not disturb, uh, ink, center. Uh, what else do we got up here? Do we have the blue, the light here we can do? Uh, we've got, do not, okay, volume, warm light, cold light. So this is where I was saying, uh, let's take off the warm light. There we go. That's what I like is a little bit more of a blue to it. This is really nice, guys. Books, you did a great job. If I turn it this way, does it does it turn? Let's see. We got to see how landscape works. Okay, so this is my first impression. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this for a couple days. I'm going to come back. I'm going to put my planner on here like I use a PDF. I'm going to put Kindle books on here. I'm going to start using the notes on it and uh, really look at this and see, is this something... Uh, that I can start to carry around, which is my, I hate to call it an ink iPad, but that's kind of what it is. It does all the stuff that I need it to do. Um, and, and honestly, my biggest issue was with the menus and the way things worked. And I can tell you already, this is really starting to, to, to uh, uh, make this awesome. So here you go. Look, look how intuitive it is. Because you remember I was saying about rotate, like I'm not a manual guy, like I want something easy. So here we go, auto rotate. So if I put on it's going to auto rotate that that's really cool so let's turn that off um, and it's back here so there there's a lot of work that they've done from what i've seen over the years from books um, again i usually buy the products books doesn't send me anything uh, to review so this is the first time 
uh, I've had one in a while, uh, and it's really interesting to to play with this. And uh, you got your books here, you got your notepads here, uh, you got your Play Store. You've got just so much going on here. This is really cool. I don't even know what all these tabs do. Uh, that's to get to Wi-Fi. But I love this this navigation that just seems so easy. Look, those are the recent things you've had come up. Um, here's our app optimization. I don't know who's been working with this, but uh, it's quick and fast. Really cool as far as um, trying to utilize it just out of the box. Like typically I'd be like, okay, let's put this thing away. This isn't something I want to work with. But this definitely has got me excited and uh, I'm excited to use this. Uh, any questions, leave them down below. We're going to be doing a lot more videos here. I'm finally getting the retreat center done. It's been crazy. And if you like other videos, just hit the thumbs up. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to try to get, get back to it and really start rocking here. But I'm excited to utilize this and see if this could be my daily driver. I'm going to use it for a few days and see. Again, a little expensive. You know, I'm paying $900 for it, so it is more than these devices. But if you have one device that you're throwing in your bag and carrying around with everywhere, I think it's it could be really worth it. And this device really uh, seems to be hitting home run. I'm going to hook a Bluetooth keyboard up to it. I'm going to type with it. I'm going to do the whole works with it and bring it back to you uh, with some great uh, use case ideas and thoughts uh, and my thoughts with it. But right out of the box, I'm impressed, and that ta it takes a lot to impress me. I'm really impressed with it. Uh, Onyx, great job. I love the fact your software is improving. It's evolving, and that's really cool. All right, until the next video, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of this community. Go have a fantastic day.